Well, today we are out at Rollins Lake. It's a 40 acre lake out in Ripley, West Virginia. And we're going to try something a little bit different today. I got my nephew Colton here with me. And they just stocked some golden rainbows in here. We're going to try to catch some trout this morning and then we might try to do a little bit of bass fishing this afternoon. So we got it's about 55 degrees outside. Water temperature is 57.6, believe it or not. It's water's warming up. So we are going to get after it and see if we can catch some fish for y'all. We are going to start moving slowly. We're going to trail them baits out the back of the boat. Hopefully, I don't lose my rod. <laughs> I'm going to try to fish from this side so I can watch them. Yeah, that's why I'm fishing on this side. Mine was a little further away from the boat. That where mine is? Yeah. Too, way too fast for that. play with you. You're famous now. Finally, after here all day. I swear. <sighs> hey, at least we're not skunk Colton. Come here and get in the video with me. On the wacky rig, Strike King <laughs> shimmy stick, green pumpkin. Finally, dude, we're not skunked. Yeah. All right. Probably about 11 inches long. Probably. Now, here, watch. I gotta get my still shot. Come on, he wasn't getting off. <laughs> there he is, going back in the lake.
They call him a war mouth. Yep. Check that out. Hey, you gotta hold that for the cam for the video camera. We're, we're videoing for my YouTube channel. I know, I seen it. <laughs> Check that out. Check out that war mouth Colton caught. That thing's probably close to nine and a half inches. I've caught one from here. The first time I ever caught one. All right, now let's get on up here close to the camera so we can get a still shot from the video later. Good job, Colton. See, you didn't get skunked either. All right. And away it goes. I was hoping he'd jump off the log. What? I was hoping he'd jump off the log. He's awful brave. Yeah, you need to let it sink down a good ways. There's so much pollen on the water. Like it's like so much more than there was a little bit ago for some reason. That's a big pile of bird poop. Oh, don't get off. Don't get off. Come on, little fishy. Quit doing that. Quit doing that. Get in this boat. Number two, they're not big, but by gosh, we're catching fish. He wasn't ah. getting off. Yeah, he was. He very could have easily got off. Really? He's Green so pumpkin strong. strike king shimmy stick again. Back he goes. one yet. Got him. Look at that large mouth there. That's fish number three for me. On the wacky rigged shimmy stick again. Well, that's a pretty fish. 
Look at the spots on that thing. Right in the corner of the mouth. I'm gonna measure him. I haven't measured one yet. My pliers. There we go. Turn him loose now. Oh, I was going to measure him. Oh. Can I release him? Yeah. And he is 12 and 1 8 inches. 12 and 1 8. All right, Colton, come here. Hold him. There you go. All right, turn him loose. Good job, bud. Well, all right, we're done. We're back at the ramp, getting ready to put it on the trailer. Uh, me and Colton been out here since about 7.30 this morning. And we tried to trout fish till about noon, and that didn't work out. So it, today's gold rush, and we wanted to try to catch those, one of those golden rainbow trout, but it didn't work out. But we saw a bunch of them. But then around noon, we started bass fishing, and you know, things were pretty slow until... Uh, we tied on these uh, wacky rigged Strike King shimmy sticks, green pumpkin with black flake. And uh, I was using my Lou's Xfinity combo that I got at Walmart, $59.99, one of the best rods I have. Colton here had his trusty Zebco 33 Authentic 10 pound line on his. And first time he made ever wacky rigged today, wasn't it? Yes, it was. And uh, he managed to catch a war mouth, and I caught three little bass. I think the biggest bass I caught was 12 and an eighth inches. But all in all, it wasn't too bad a day. We're hot, we're sunburnt, we're hungry, and we're going home.